The Oncotype VX uh, breast cancer assay is a test that looks at 21 genes in the breast tumor tissue that is removed at the time of diagnosis of breast cancer. It provides critical information on the likelihood of distant recurrence and on the magnitude of chemotherapy benefit in the most common type of breast cancer. Um, and now over the last uh, 15 years, it has allowed physicians and patients to determine whether they need to get chemotherapy or not. Um, and since it's been shown that only a minority of patients benefit from chemotherapy, it has spared chemotherapy from being used unnecessarily in hundreds of thousands of women. There's important uh, new information um, in three studies from actually uh, three different countries that now uh, have highlighted the importance of using Oncotype DS DX at the time of diagnosis for selecting neoadjuvant treatment. Um, the idea there that uh, Oncotype earlier when done on the core biopsy can select and identify which women will benefit from neoadjuvant endocrine therapy or neoadjuvant chemotherapy based on the score. Uh, that not only allows for physicians and patients who have larger tumors to get the best treatment to allow for breast conserving surgery in the future, but also in the context of COVID, allow treatment to be started earlier while patients await the time when they can be safely operated on again um, in our healthcare systems around the world. The impact of Oncotype uh, DX worldwide um, is told by the, the patients and the physicians and the value that they've seen by using this test in clinical practice. Um, more than a million patients have been tested. Um, uh, as a result of that, hundreds of thousands of women have been spared unnecessary chemotherapy. Um, and importantly, a minority of them, um, based on the score, uh, have now taken chemotherapy knowing that it can have a potentially life-saving benefit. And so, um, you know, one of the numbers that I've seen reported is also not only a number about, and the most important number being its impact on, on, on people's lives, but we've also in this time of resource, uh, resource issues, uh, been able to save uh, more than $5 billion of unnecessary spending here, allowing us to spend that money on, on, on healthcare innovations and interventions that have really clear value. Um, it's, it's clearly the case now that precision medicine is a reality. Um, and it's also the case that our lab has continued to remain open uh, during uh, th this COVID crisis because although COVID is new, cancer doesn't stop. And again, these scores are being used every day going forward in order to make sure that breast cancer patients continue uh, to select the right treatment for them. At, at this time, the Oncotype DX test is now available in more than 90 countries all around the world. The interest um, and uh, attention to Oncotype has been just as great um, in other countries as it has been in the United States. Uh, we are a worldwide cancer communi community. Um, the ASCO meeting brings together uh, researchers and, and cancer doctors from all around the world. And actually that's one of the highlights 
at ASCO this year is that there will be three separate reports on the impact of Oncotype um, in other countries outside the United States. Um, there is a report, uh, uh, two studies actually from Latin America, uh, one a study of 647 patients in 14 centers in, uh, in Argentina, Colombia, um, Mexico and Peru. Um, that study showed that the use of Oncotype DX um, in their patients reduced chemotherapy use by 36% in node negative breast cancer and by 46% in node positive breast cancer. A second study in Brazil uh, in 151 patients uh, who are all higher risk showed that there was actually a 69% reduction in the use of chemotherapy. Again, um, making sure that, the, that, that chemotherapy was given to the right patients who had a clear and large benefit from chemotherapy where the benefits outweighed the ris risks. Um, there is um, a, an enormous impact uh, outside the US and we're seeing this new data as well as the landmark Taylor X trial impact reimbursement and access around the world. In fact, just in the last year, Germany um, and their guidelines have now recommended Oncotype DX as the only test to be used in early stage no negative breast cancer in order to select the right treatment for patients. One of the things I do want to highlight is uh, with regard to the use of Oncotype DX on core biopsies, um, there will be results and more data uh, presented and published in the future uh, that again supports the use of Oncotype DX on core biopsies and the use of Oncotype for neoadjuvant treatment selection. Uh, more broadly looking at the whole field, um, this is just the beginning of the of of the of the of this field of precision oncology. I have no doubt that in the long run, we will use tests for every important cancer treatment decision. I think we now know that probably most treatments um, and drugs are targeted. We just don't yet know the target. Um, and as we go forward as a community with further research, um, we will in fact be able to ultimately treat cancer smarter in every case and hopefully prevent it more often and eradicate this disease.